Hey everybody and welcome back. I know it has been a very long time and maybe sometime in the future I'll explain everything that happened but long story short life gets in the way and uh, things happen and sometimes you don't get to record videos and that's okay and you can't beat yourself up over it but I have something fun today and I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna be making some more videos hopefully because this makes me happy. So today I'm gonna be talking about my very first Ipsy box I've ever gotten. So I have been subscribed to BoxyCharm since the beginning of 2017. So it's been a good two years plus that I've been subscribed to them. And just the past few months, I really just haven't been happy with, you know, the service. And um, I am getting June's BoxyLux. So when that comes in, I will do a review on it and I will let you guys know if I'm going to be canceling my BoxyCharm or not. Um, I just feel like I've gotten a lot of products recently and the past few boxes have just been, you know, there's been some things that I've really enjoyed, um, you know, here and there. But for the most part, for me, I feel that it's not worth the money. And I think part of me is holding on to BoxyCharm because I have been subscribed for so long that part of me is like, you know, I don't want to give this up because, you know, I've been having it for so long and it's just something that I'm used to and whatever. But, you know, on to new things. And I've heard a lot of good things about Ipsy as well, you know, so I signed up for it but I knew that I didn't want the one with the sample sizes which is the regular one that's like 10 bucks a month so this is the Ipsy the glam bag plus I think I really don't even know everything happened so fast and they were like you're getting the June box and I was like oh, okay this happened so fast so I think this is the one that's the upgraded one I think it was $25 um so that is a few dollars more than BoxyCharm, but I mean, if I feel like I like the products more, then it might be worth it. I wish there was a way that I could only be signed up for BoxyLux and not just BoxyCharm because I think, you know, the items in BoxyLux are sometimes worth it, but I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at spoilers on what I'm getting this month, so don't spoil it. <laughs> be on the lookout for that BoxyCharm video because it will be coming sometime soon, as soon as I get my box. Okay, so like I just said three seconds ago, I've never had Ipsy before, so I don't really know what to expect when it comes to what's inside of the box. Um, I'm having trouble opening the box, so this is the only sharp object I have around me is a foiling comb. Well, foiling color brush, whatever. <laughs> okay, yes, so this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Thank you for confirming that, because apparently I don't know what I ordered. Ah! It says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. That touched my soul. So right off the back, I like that there's blue foam. I know that's stupid, but I like all the colors. Okay, so we're gonna open her up and this is the first time I'm opening this too. So I am don't know what to expect, just like you. So, okay, um, this says, welcome to the block party. Thanks, sis. Cool, so this is just a little booklet, just like BoxyCharm has um, with all of the products that are gonna be inside of the box, I hope. All right, so I'm just gonna grab something out. All right, the first thing that we have right here, I can already tell this is Pixie by the lime green. It's Pixie and it's their double brush mascara. Okay, so it says this mascara is $18, and um, it says it's a mascara with two wands. Okay. It says mascara with not one, but two wands can create variety to your lash, blah, blah, blah. I don't understand how there's two, but I'm going to open it and find out, I guess. So I got, oh, so there is two part. Ooh. So I think this part right here may be like a skinnier one, maybe for your lower lashes. And then this is a fat one. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try this out. I love trying out new mascaras because I feel like I still haven't found the one. I found mascaras that I really like, but I don't think I've found the one yet. I recently bought the Lancome Monsieur Big mascara and I like it, but I don't think it's the one. So I think I'm still on the hunt. <laughs> right now, I think my favorite one that I've tried so far is the Butter London Double Decker. I love that mascara. I've gotten it twice now and I want it a third time because mine has dried up again. All right, so next we have, this is from Sunday Riley. This is their CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. And this is a $65 cream. Um, and it says that it has vitamin C and it helps fight skin damage and it visibly brightens your skin, dewy, luminous glow, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm super excited for this because I've been having really bad problems with like texture and redness in my skin. And somebody actually told me that I should try a vitamin C serum. And now I have a vitamin C cream that I can't open because my nails are so long. Ooh, it smells like oranges. I mean, it's vitamin C and the packaging's orange. So what really did I expect? But 
It smells good. I'm excited to try this out. I'm um I'm using my It Cosmetics CC oh, no not CC cream the It Cosmetics Confidence in a cream still right now. So I'll probably finish that up and then give this one a go. Or I might try this one now. Actually, I'm probably gonna use this tonight. Next thing. So this is from uh, Jolie. 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 Okay. So this is a Lux Cream Matte Trio. And it's from Jolie Cosmetics, and I have never heard of them, but it says their formula is matte and super creamy and hydrating and rich. So it's matte, but it's hydrating. I hate people say things like that. They're like matte dewy finish. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open her up. So these are the shades right here. Um, I typically wouldn't wear two shades like this, um, so I might give these away. Just so you guys know, just a little heads up if anyone's watching this. I'm not sure how many subscribers I'm at right now because I really haven't been on YouTube much because, you know, I've been away. But, um, I think I'm at around 600 or so. When I hit 1,000, I am going to be doing a big giveaway. I have so much products ready for this giveaway. So, um, definitely be on the lookout for that sometime in the near future. But I might end up giving away those two purple shades in my giveaway because I'm not feeling them. But... The red one's cute, it's cute. The next thing that we got, um, this is actually really freaking cool. Um, okay, so this is Tetris and Ipsy palette. I live for Tetris. I am like a crazy like phone game addict. Like some people are video games, you know, my boyfriend does his PlayStation thing. You know, some people do Xbox, some people do the Switch, whatever. I am a phone game addict and I have Tetris on my iPad and I literally, live for it and I've actually been playing it a lot lately which is funny that they sent me this so this is what the palette looks like super cute it says Tetris on it um the back just has some you know designs and stuff oh, who needs this thing oh apparently they want me to have it <gasps> mine is a bit messed up that's okay. Here are the shades right here, super cute. I'm gonna swatch all of them in a second. I like that there's a mirror and I think this is so cute how it says game on right there. I think this is the cutest. And actually, honestly, these colors, I could work with these. I could get a full look out of this and I like it. I wanted to flip my arm around so I could really show you the swatches. All of these are one swipe swatches. Um, I will say that some of them, especially like this yellow one, um, weren't the most pigmented. I kind of had to, you know, rub for a second to get something, but I didn't go back in for any more. So these are all of the shades in order. I will say though, some of these are really pretty, like this second one underneath the blue one. And that blue one was really pigmented, like come through. Jeffree Star, Blue Blood, who? So, I mean, honestly, I think I could get a look out of these. And obviously, that one in the center that's not showing up is the same exact color as my skin tone. So, it's not going to show up. But honestly, like, go off, Ipsy. I'm living. Okay, so the last thing that we have is from um, Generation Clay. Okay, purifying pink clay mask. All right, I live for a pink clay moment. And there is still eyeshadow all over me because I'm disgusting and lazy and don't want to clean it off. So cool. Australia. Ooh, made in Australia. Okay. I don't think I've ever received an Australian product like in any type of box or anything that I've ever had before. Here I go again. Another one of these things. When you have nails this long, you really can't open things. So that kind of sucks. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I was not... I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. It has a really strong scent. It smells like, it smells like, like floor cleaner mixed with rose, but not in a disgusting way, if that makes sense. Like I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it. Okay, cool. I'm excited to try this out. I'm assuming since it's a clay mask, yeah, it says refine, purify, brighten, and smooth. I think this is one of those masks that is like, you know, you're putting it on and it really tightens your skin up. And I actually really like those kind of masks. Let me just wipe my hands off on this. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys, I am like wiping my thumb off so hard and this blue will not come off. All the other shades came off okay. The pink one, not so much, but this blue one, she's pigmented. I'm telling you, Jeffree Star, Blue Blood Who? Ipsy is coming for you. All right, so the mask is $39. 
Okay, so I just did the math from everything and I did the math in my head and I didn't use a calculator. So <laughs> I think this number is right. I think it's $200 even. I think the entire box is worth 200 even and that's more than BoxyCharm has ever given me. <laughs> really though, no shade to BoxyCharm or anything, but I mean, we'll see what happens whenever I get my Boxylux review. I'll title it something really dramatic like, Boxy Lux, June uh, 2019. Am I canceling? <laughs> guys, um, I really had fun filming this video. Um, feels good to be back. And I hope that you guys will continue to watch my upcoming videos and also don't hate me for being away for so long. But um, yeah, comment below anything. Comment, tell me if you got Ipsy. I don't really know how the whole customization thing works, but um, I actually got this box and I went on my profile today because I got the box delivered today. Um, and my beauty settings were completely incorrect. I don't think I ever filled them out properly. I might've just skipped through one time just to get past it. So I went ahead and filled it out. So I think next month it'll be more catered to me. Like I said, I feel like I like all these things, but I definitely opted out of like berry tones like this now, these lipsticks, just cause I have so many lipsticks, liquid lipsticks that are all the same color and I really don't ever wear purples like this. So I just don't need it in my collection. So, um, someone else can have those <laughs> hey guys so i'm editing the video right now and i just realized that my outro uh media got corrupted so that footage is gone so i just wanted to come say bye thank you and see you soon bye